Thank you, Chair. A very good afternoon to everyone. The impact of COVID-19 on learning has provided us with the opportunity to take a retrospective view of education sector in Malaysia. We have revisited our policies and priorities and created a more robust education system that we believe will have the capacity to respond and adapt quickly to future shocks. Like many countries, Malaysia implemented school closure intermittently in 2020 and 2021. To remedy the situation, the Ministry of Education Malaysia, MOE, created a comprehensive structure to ensure that teaching and learning can still be carried out effectively. We introduced flexible home-based learning to ensure that students can continue their studies online or offline. Part of this was that learning materials were provided digitally and a dedicated educational TV channel was established. Beginning April 2022, all students started to attend face-to-face -face classes. This allows teachers to identify learning gaps more effectively and take immediate intervention on learning recovery. To ensure that no students are left behind academically, we introduced an initiative that focuses on getting all students to reach the required level of literacy and numeracy before they continue to the next level. Furthermore, we also implemented a program that aims to strengthen students' psychosocial resilience and undertake intervention of students' emotional well-being. As part of our efforts to transform education, we wanted to instill good values, skills, and positive attitudes among students. Thus, we introduced a concept called Skolaku Sejahtera. The concept is promulgated to be the guiding principle in pursuit of molding Malaysia's future generation. Besides this, we also took the bold step of revising student assessment. We reduced exams at the primary and secondary levels. The basis of, for our decision is that learning should not be exam-driven, but rather an explorative process which encourages school children to look forward to attending school. We instead strengthen class and school-based assessment, which we believe to be more equitable and evaluate the full range of skills of each student. Malaysia emphasizes the necessity for the educational system to be future-proof. This means that providing students with digital skills is now the rule, not the exception. Hence, we are providing contemporary digital infrastructure and infrastructure in all our educational institutions. Apart from that, Malaysia focuses on enhancing teachers' training in the areas related to digital education as well as pedagogical innovation through the use of digital technology. When it comes to public financing, despite the current national budget focus on pandemic recovery, post-pandemic recovery, Malaysia has maintained our historically strong investment in education. The largest education, the largest allocation which is 16% of the total federal budget, remains with the Ministry of Education. Furthermore, the allocation was structured to serve transformative initiative. Besides utilizing the public purse, MOE Malaysia created Yayasan Didik Negara in 2021. This official philanthropic arm of the MOE welcomes public and corporate contribution in realizing inclusive education initiative. Malaysia commits to, to accelerate progress on education. Let us work together and gear up in transforming education for our future generation. On that note, I thank you.